So following on from the previous video, we got to uh, to a stage where we can sketch the graph. Roughly, we can guess it to be something like this. Okay, we we know the gradient here will be zero. We know the gradient here to be zero. We know it crosses here. We know it crosses here. So so we can guess this. So now in this video, we're going to check the um, the intervals. So we're going to check f prime being in this region, f prime in this region, and f prime being in this region. Okay, so first differentiate this. That would then, um, well, we, we did that in some of the early videos and we got to this. Okay, so now we need to check it for this interval here. For this interval here. So it's between, between, uh, between zero, between zero and, uh, and between e to the power of minus two. So that's, uh, that's this, this interval here. Okay, so, um, so hang on, f prime. So in in this region here, in this region here, what we've got here is uh, natural log of uh, natural log of x squared. That's what we've got here. Okay, and then here we've got two times the natural log of x. But it, in in this region here, in this region here, you you have to um, you have to look at the graph here. Okay, so so this is our our natural log of x in this region here. In this region here, that's 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 this region here, less than um, well, that, that's this region here. Okay, so the thing is, in uh, in in this region where x is between zero and e to the power of minus two, that would that will that would mean in this region here. Okay, that would mean in this region here. Well, in this in this region here, um, x in, in this region here. This thing here will be less than minus two, okay? In, in, because, um, sorry, there should be a minus two here. No, there should be a minus two here. Um, so, so in, in in this region here, in this region here, this bubble here will be less than minus two because you can see, um, it, it, if if you think about it, natural log of um of uh, e to the uh, to the um, Power of minus two, this thing here will become uh, will become minus will become minus two. So um, so in this region here, everything here will be less than minus two. Okay, so everything in in this re x being in this region here, the the bubble here will be less than minus two. Okay, now in this when x is in this region here, this bubble here will also be less than minus two. Okay, but but here's the thing. When when x is less than minus two here, when you square it, it actually this bit here is um is is actually bit it, it will be bigger than you timesing it by 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 two here. So here here's the thing. In this region here, this thing here will be uh well, when you square it it will be bigger than uh, than than this thing here when you times it by two. So for example, hang on. So for example, let's say when, when x is in this region here. Let's say um let's say the the natural log of of x here would be let's let's just say minus ten. So you've got minus ten, and then you 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 square it, okay, and then you plus it two. That's this two here, and then minus ten. Minus ten. Yes, I know this thing here is a negative, but the thing is, when you square it, this whole thing here is a lot more significant than this one here. So when when you square this, this will become positive one hundred, and then this thing here, yeah, yes, it is a minus. Yes, it is a minus, but it's only a minus by a small amount, which is this thing here. So overall, it will be a positive. The point being, the point being is that in 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 this when x is in this region here, the uh, this whole thing here will be bigger that while well, squaring it will be bigger than than molting it by two. Okay, so so overall it will be a positive in the, in that region. Okay, um maybe maybe I explained it badly, but um if you press pause and really think about it, um in that region it will be a positive. Okay, so now we need to consider for x being um, being between e to the power of minus two and one. Okay, so so um, so so f prime is this here, but visualize it as this. 
Okay, now now when x is in, in this region here, let's look at a let's look at our graph. Looking at our graph here, so this is um um this is uh, the natural log of x here. Well, in, in this region here, if uh, that that's when, when x is in this region here, okay, um yes, this thing here will be will be negative, and yes, this thing here will be negative. But the thing is, now in this region here, this becomes more powerful than this if that powerful thing makes sense um times in, in this region here this thing here will be more powerful than this thing here uh times 2 will be more powerful than uh than squaring it so for example in this region here let's say this thing here is negative a half okay negative a half and 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 the natural log of this ha turns out to be let's say negative a half now uh, negative a half squared it will give you a positive it will give you a positive uh, positive uh, not point what is it not point um, two five here but then uh, but then this thing here yes um, yes this is still negative but the thing is when you times this it will be it turns out to be negative two gets multiplied to the top so overall it will be one here so you see you've got you see, this times two in, in in this case times two is more powerful than squaring because look at this. Um, you've got you've got a small number take away a big number, so overall it will be a uh, a negative. Okay, so hang on. So in in this region here, in this region here, this whole thing here will become a um, a, a negative. Okay, so now we need to consider when when x is being bigger than one. Okay, so uh, so when x is bigger than one, looking at this here, uh, visualize it as this here. Okay, well now when x is bigger than one, well let's let's look at our graph. When x is when x is bigger than one, natural log of x will will be positive. Okay, so so this thing here will be positive, and this thing here will also be positive. So um so overall, a positive squared times a times two. So it's really it's going to be a positive, okay. So overall, what what we've established is that in this region here, in this interval here, um, f prime will be positive. In this interval here, f prime will be negative. In this interval here, f prime will be positive. Okay. So positive, negative, positive. So what that means is, uh, if if f prime is if Remember all these signs are for for f prime, for f prime. So if f prime is positive in this case here, then f must be climbing. Okay, so so f must be climbing, and then here f um, if f prime is negative, then f itself will be uh, will be falling. So falling, 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 and then here uh, if f prime is positive, then uh, then f itself will be Climbing, so climbing, climbing, climbing. So, so it, it correlates with what we what we predicted in the previous video. Okay.